Hello and good night. Hello and good night. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Yeah, the money now wait for me. Waiting for you, bro. Big up on yourself. Just wake up. You just wake up. Oh, Jesus. Navlet Hilton. Navlet Hilton. Let me pin you, because I want to address you. As you come. Look a bit tired, but I'm come spend some time. Navlet Hilton. Let me say something to you. I respect you, but you are not following instruction. I respect you, Navlet. You just pop up a while ago, and you're not following instruction. I'm going to say something to you, Navlet. Navlet, there is a big sis growing in your belly and it is big navlet navlet is is big and you it uh, it is also cancerous and it is very innocent uh, uh, that's the word the surgery has to go on and the surgery must go on and i'm going to say something to you what i want you to know navlet Hilton. if you don't you see i don't like to talk things to scare people but I know you have watched me a long time. And I know you believe in what I'm saying. What I'm about to say to you, good night, everybody. Well, good night and blessing. Good night. As you come in, text good night and blessing. Come in. And before you, me, me have a message for Navlet. But before me move on to anybody else. Jessica um, and Denise. I never notice me to see Jessica Ellis. I know this is Pamela from what here. Pamela, if you're about, register yourself. Say good night and blessing. After you tell me good night and blessing, tag somebody where you don't know or you know and say good night and blessing. I'm going to say something to you, Navlet. Navlet. You have to do the surgery. I'm going to show you something, Navlet. I want you to hear my good Navlet Hilton. If you don't do the surgery, you're going dead. I don't like you. You see, the thing about it is, me just like to talk straight and done. If you don't do the surgery, you're going to lose your life. And maybe the doctor is going, the doctor might tell you that the surgery is a 50 50. But you're going to do the surgery in God's name. You're not going to worry yourself about any ins no any um insurance. You're going to check yourself in the hospital. Tell them where you're feeling the pain. Make them run some tests. Deal with it before February. There is, after you cut out, then, I'm not a doctor, let me say this, because I have a lot of enemies and people who, who, who wish bad of me. So let me put on my disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, as everybody should know. And I don't have any legal right to prescribe anything. But what I am saying to you, Navlet Hilton, is a 50-50 surgery. I'm being real. And, and a 50-50 without no surgery. I'm being real. I'm going to ask you, Miss Hilton, don't stress. Me give you the rules already. If you stress, you kill yourself. Why am I telling you this? Is it not because I have to tell you the truth. Maybe you want to reach to me and can't reach to me. 
you have to do the surgery and cut out what it is in your belly because I see where the doctor sent you. I see where the doctor sent you to do the surgery and it iffy and I see where another doctor is stopping the surgery and I am a spiritual man. I am asking you, Miss Navlet, to do the surgery. It not looking good. Get rid of what the doctor said need to get rid out of your body. Then do the chemo. Matafa, let me call you. I'm taking this to joke. And this is a very serious matter. You see the thing about RT, I don't leave no stone and turn. I tell the truth. Sometimes the truth may be hurt, but I believe that once you know the truth and you know what is the truth, you can be able to adjust it and fix it. Navlet. Bossy. Navlet. Call me. Yes. What you say? Why I'm seeing a doctor is blocking you and another doctor is approving you. What's going on? Are you hearing me? I'm not hearing you, Navlet. What's it? I'm listening. Are you hearing me? What's up with your phone? Oh, nothing. I tried to go on camera, but I went in yesterday. Um, you're on the phone. Just look in the phone. We are hearing you. Look in the phone. We are hearing you. Oh, I went in yesterday. Let me see your face. Let me see your face as well. Let me see what's going on. Let me see your face. How do I touch? Can you see me? I'm seeing you, but you have to hold the phone where I can see you. I'm seeing the house. I'm seeing your bedroom. Turn back the camera around. Okay. But you lose weight. I have. You are joking, Navlet man. Bossy, I went yesterday and they scheduled the surgery for the 29th of this month. Stand up, let me see you good. Go on the phone. Man. Why don't you get to me? Because I talked to Michelle and Michelle said she was going to get to you. I spoke to her yesterday. I have been speaking to Michelle and she said she's going to get to you. So now, now that you're talking to me, I'm like, probably she didn't. Because I told her yesterday... No. I said I was going to talk to Bossy no. today, and she said, Bossy is busy, just leave him a message. But listen what I'm saying to you, Bossy, um, I have numerous voice notes for Michelle, but have not checked them as yet. And I know Michelle, are you hearing me? And Michelle, you are moving. I'm here. Did the doctor tell you what do you have? It's ovarian, I think he said. Ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. And he said I have to get an hysterectomy done, so that's what they won't do. Navlet. Yes. I give you this prophecy a couple months ago. Yes. 
I give you this prophecy a couple months ago, Navalette, and you should have jumped on it from I give you. But anyway, I give you even before it reached to this level, I told I know, you. but they told me, like when I went to the clinic, they told me they, that just when I went back the other day, the nurse, the doctor was upset because she said, you just coming back, and I said, they told me nobody's going to look about me unless I have insurance. She said, no. Anybody tell you that was wrong? Because we would look about you still until your insurance come true. Because going back to the emergency room, I don't know if they would do anything. Now, but... Yes, boss. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah. I want you to change your diet. I want you to stop eating meat. All right. I don't. I, I only mean, like when we we'll mess with chicken every now and then. Michelle has Michelle Carr as. I mean Michelle. She has two, three different type of cancer. Three different times. Yeah. And Michelle, listen to me. And the cancer gone. You read it in the newspaper when we put it in the Jamaica newspaper say, I have cured cancer two times. You have faith to know that I am a man of God. You should listen to me now. What you're going to do now? You're going to do the surgery. And you're going to take, make the doctor give you the chemo. But right now is the surgery. So you're saying that the first time one doctor shown you and another doctor, Jesus. All right, this is, here, here, that, here we go. That was okay. the clinic that shown me. This This is the, the surgeon that I saw yesterday. You go to the surgeon yesterday? Yes, and this, the, the, let me put my other. I went to the surgeon yesterday at Memorial Regional and they scheduled the surgery for the 29th of this month. So on the 27th, 26th, 27th, I have to go to Corona test and some more blood work. I'm seeing the cancer all over in your belly. And... Yeah, because, yeah it's big. And it is not stage four yet. It is not bad. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is trust God and live. Now take my advice. Cut all meat right now. Cut all dairy. Cut all dairy products. Mm -hmm. I'm asking secretary to put Navlet on the put Navlet on the schedule for first thing tomorrow morning. Before I do any any other client, I'm asking you, please, Milo, put Navlet on the schedule first thing tomorrow morning before you give me anybody else. Navlet, I want you to know this. I want you to have faith and know that RT Bass is here to help you, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm really upset because it doesn't has to reach this far. I be, I tell you this two months ago before the doctor tell you, my darling. And that is when I did expect for you to just go lie down in the hospital and tell him to something, do you, for them to check it. You wait too long. I'm just here. I, 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 figure, I figure it out, Bashi, because of what they told me at the clinic. And the, the clinic people are the ones who... Was, was was supposed to look about me and recommend me to the surgeon, which when I went, that they started doing everything real fast. You have a sister in Florida. Huh? You have a sister in Florida? Yeah, that's where I'm at now. She's the one that takes me around to get everything done. So where, where is she there? I, I yeah. want to... I want I want to talk to her in the morning. All right, no problem. She gonna be here. Now that you can't say you love RT and you the monks RT and you fight for RT and you not listen to RT, just have faith. What you need to do, stop worry, stop fret. RT family is here to strengthen you. 
balance you and uplift you in whatever you're going through we are here for you i am going to tell you some things tomorrow private in your inbox and you have to follow instruction because you are too stubborn just follow instruction because how i know what's going on more you already know i can't read but i'm looking right in your face and i can see everything change i i no. know at the whole body the whole the whole body change what i want yes. you to know though not to worry it is and you know you know what bossy i'm no, not i'm not this. being nah, all right go it ahead on your left side right here it is on your left yeah. side mm -hmm. And it is not it is not spreading. It is contained on the left side, and the worrying is so. But out. you know, I didn't even know what that I have cancer on a very serious note because what they told me what was I have. I told you I'm not blessed. No, you told me that it wasn't. It did not get to that yet. But like before that. Like after I, my body looked more suckish than you would normally jump away. I, so I'm like, no, this is uh, not me. Hold on. Let me say something to you. Go back, go watch the video. The first prophecy I give you on the live. Is that now let why am I sensing cancer? Exactly. That's what he said. That was after I okay. came from the emergency room. Okay. So I say... A novelette, I'm sensing cancer. Go and right. see your dog. And I did and that, that went that, after that, the insurance came. It, yes, but this I could not tell you same time. But now I'm telling you bluntly because it is getting out of hand and you're going to control it. I specifically say, Nan, um, I am sensing cancer. Go see a doctor. No, you say you go see the doctor and the doctor they tell you that you never have no insurance because maybe they never see you sick. Maybe they never see nothing for, 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 for work. For you. But the bottom line is, here we are going to. It wasn't the doctor who told me that, Basi. It's like when you go in, you have people in there that you talk to. So I gave all my, my little papers from the hospital to the lady. She put my info in the computer. Then another lady came and said, you have to go get your insurance. I'm giving a discard to call them and get your insurance because if you don't have it, they're not going to look about you. So it's when I went there last week Monday and I told the doctor what the lady said, the doctor that she got upset, like nobody should not. I've said that to you because we would still look about you until your insurance came through. I told her I didn't know that because of what they told me. She said, why didn't you do a follow-up? I said, a follow-up? I didn't even know I was supposed to do a follow-up and nobody looked at me the first time I came. You know? So I went yesterday and saw the surgeon and they scheduled the surgery for the 29th because that's the only person... Who said you going to get done in that day? Because the, the doctor really works at Plantation General, not once a month where in, in, in Memorial. So that's the day I'm going to get mine done. And it's mid-afternoon, like in the 2 o'clock. All right. All right. So this is what you got to do now. You have to definitely make me speak tomorrow. When is the surgery? The 29th. Of this month. Mm. One problem I have though. And it's a, I think it's a small problem. But I'm going to make you aware of it. And when the doctor do tell you the problem. That is to show you that RT is seeing good. And he's saying that you must hold up. And hold up. One problem. I know Bossy. I know. One of the cells. I think it's the white blood cell. Mm -hmm. The white blood cell that's supposed to fight off infection. The white blood cells are low. It is not in the way what the I. doctor wants it. Mm -hmm. So the doctor is going to try to do to say that the chemo is not ready yet due to the white blood cell. So what I would advise you to do is I'm going to when I come off the live. 
Michelle is going to call me and I'm going to give you two Psalms to go and read. And I'm going to give you tomorrow what you're supposed to take. Don't worry yourself, stop stressing out yourself. But one thing I can do, tell you, I need to speak to your sister. Bossy, so you make your sister. I, I'm going to put her there. Yes, she cried yesterday. And I, I, I mean, like, I'm the only one. I am the sick one, and I'm the one encouraging everybody. Everybody is just like crying, crying, crying. I'm like, you cannot do that because if y'all start crying, it's going to bother me. You know, because she was there yesterday when the doctor said, you have cancer. She cried, like. I tried to I tried to keep my spirit up and everything. So when you find out that you have the cancer, when you find out that you have it, yesterday. And as soon as I came out, I called Michelle, and Michelle said I'm gonna get to Bossy. So I said I'm gonna call Bossy. She said Bossy is busy. You have to leave him a message. Let me just say something. Let me say this. I want to use this platform to say something to every other IT family that's right here. Not for the hype, but just for the wisdom. RT family, if I come out here and I told you that you are sick and you must go see a doctor, no. Do not question it. Let it be for the new people. But don't worry yourself, we're going to help you. We're going to help you and try our best right down to the last. But what I'm saying to IT family now, not the stranger, the one who knew, someone who just watched me. May I talk to the real IT family then? Whenever I say something to you, go to the doctor. Because I literally tell Navlet right here who you're watching to go to the doctor. I sense cancer. I tell her to go in. So even the doctor just tell her yesterday that she has cancer. And is it about two months ago I talked to, I talked to you, not at, um, about, is it about two yeah, months no, ago? In November. I think like the day I went, I came from emergency room or the other next day. All right, so this is where we're not going to stress you out and talk too much about the show. But what we going to do now, cut the meat, cut the dairy product, only fruits and vegetable balance. Yes, I do. I do that too, Bossy. Well, Every morning, I blend my green juice. I green, green juice. Green juice. Michelle, Every morning. Michelle is supposed to give you the remedy, but this is what I want you to do. Once you cut it out, mm. then you're going to do some chemo. And yes, then the he said chemo when the when the test come back, then you will know if I'm gonna need chemo. If not, then I'm gonna do it. Well, the chemo is needed. So, may I tell you mm -hmm. from now? After the test, prepare to take the chemo. When you take the chemo, that the chemo will balance the cancer down to a level. You have a mm -hmm. good way to go with it. But what I would advise you to do, the fret. Don't fret. I am going to call a group fasting for you. The members of the group yeah. to do fasting for you. I will give them specific time when. But what I'm asking you for you to know that just pray and once you listen everything what i'm saying you can't go wrong i am the one who see it and if god allow me to see it, to alert you that means i must have some understanding or some spiritual method to bring you back and this is not going to be the fourth cancer patient or the fifth cancer patient I help. You just have to listen to me. The love that you have for me, I want you to turn it into listen, Navnet. Listen. Are you going to start listening from tonight? No, the first okay. thing you're going to do from tonight, I want you to drink seven bottles of water. Drink seven bottles of water tonight? Yes, right. Tonight. Even when you're So should I go drink. get them now? No, you're not going to do it on the live because that's like too heavy for you. But what you're going to do when you come off of the live, you're going to I'm drink okay. seven. When you drink the first book four and you're mm -hmm. tired, you when later in the night again, you constantly drink it. Just make sure a seven bottle you drink for tonight. When you're, when you're drinking eat bottle, you say, I will lift up my... I will lift up my water unto the hills. Psalms 121. 
I will lift up my water. Not your eye. Not your eye. I will lift up my water up unto the hills from whence cometh my help, my help coming from the Lord, which make heaven and earth. I will lift up my water unto the hills. Psalms 121. Okay. And that's what you're going to say over each bottle of water when you drink it. Okay. One concern, though. Okay. You're, I don't think you're seeing period, but I'm seeing a little bleeding. Oh, no. Like all the last month, it was like, for all the last month, all the last month, bossy, it was there. There? There was nothing. Until the doctor run the test, then it came down like a little bit of pink, but it's nothing like it used to be before. It just it kind of disappeared. I don't know what caused that, but it disappeared. All right, what do you want to do? Oh, I'm going to keep my emotion. Just trust God and lift the whole lamp of faith for me. And whole lamp of name of God, God, man. And, matter of fact, once I come off the live, I'm going to talk to you. As I come off of the live, Get Michelle, get Nanda. No matter what, Michelle is on the live, Nanda is on the live, Mercedes is on the live, Pauline is on the live, everybody is on the live. Call me because sometimes you have too much thing from the head. Call me and remember, let me speak to Nat um, Navlet no longer than tonight. Navlet, I will speak to you tonight after I come out for the live. Okay, bossy. Oh, there. See my waters? Right. Start drinking them tonight. Should I start when they come off or when exactly. they speak to me? Just, just when I, I'm going to leave you now and I want you to start it. All right? Good. All right. Thank you. I'm going to say something. And I, I don't, I know it's not the right time to say, to bash her in the way of saying that I give not, I give not let this prophecy from November, but you know what the problem I believe? When I give her and she, was ne she wasn't in any bad way or bad stage, and when she go, she did go to the doctor, but is that the doctor? It's, it, she go to the nurse, as she said, and the nurse tell her about some in, in, um, insurance. So from that time, she don't come, whenever I get the talk back to her, if she say, a lot of you remember when me I talked to her on the line. So from that time, a lot of the RT family, from that time, I never rem she never get back to me to tell me that the doctor or the nurse, she, them, I don't even know, it's just the devil because that ain't a foreign. I you don't know where in America you go to an emergency room or go, I don't know. Yeah. This thing has stressed me out. I want to, this is the question I want to ask you. Anybody here from the late, um, I want to say something, RT family. Quick question. All of you remember when I give her the prophecy? Just say I remember. Because I know that I give this prophecy more than two times in a one month. It's stressing me out. It is stressing me out. Look at the TV's one charger. One of them in the car. The lady was I, the lady what I was dealing with earlier. Is she on the live? She called me and said that she's doing better. She's feeling better. So far, I have two IT family right now. That is, I have bad health issue right now. And I, I have to stand up as the leader and constantly pray 
and wish the best for them because as I did prophesy that I'm going to lose two RT member. But one thing I do know is that no matter as long as you're serving God and as long as a person whoever I have the prophecy for is of God and serving God, God moving in a mysterious way. Anything can change. So far, we have one right now in a hospital right now, and we do the fasting for her, and we are doing fasting same way. We are hoping for the best. She still don't come out of the hospital yet, but we are praying and hoping that we know that God is going to deliver. Now we have Navlet. So that's the only two person we can identify now. And I am saying to the IT family that it is not going to be none of them in Jesus' name. You know, we, by faith and by love and unity, we will going to fight till the end. But God is able. I say, I can't talk to somebody. I say, I'm not like, just reading my energy. I'm just not, I'm not, I love you, and I'm not a bad boy. I love you, and I'm not like, I just love when I talk to you now. I'm going to listen at the same time, man. It stresses me, man. See, Anne Marie Hines says she has fear problem. And I mean, I like, when I tell Anne Marie her problem, she run God doctor. Anne Marie Hines, me give her her bands check and tell her what I see about her health. She run God the doctor like she, she hear news. I think I tell her today. And when I tell her today, tomorrow morning, when I tell her today, tomorrow morning, she be at the doctor and run the test them. And when she run the test, then the doctor tell her exactly what me tell her. And she she give God thanks every day that me couldn't tell her before. But Navlet, you're going to win. I want to know with you, Navlet. You, the, all of the IT family know you're stubborn. But guess what? You're going to win. In Jesus' name, I am speaking life over your body. All right, we can move on now. But... All right, anybody want to come talk to me? And then I can take it from there because I am um, the lady with it up on the live this morning. Um do do anyone see her commenting? I I talked to her earlier. She said she's not feeling any back pain. She said she's not having no stomach problem anymore. Not feeling she says only one problem is the foot them don't fully get better yet. In terms of, she's saying that the foot them still there. Remember, she da walk today, and she da walk on a hop. So the problem with the foot, she just do a hip. She do a hip, I got hip replacement or some hip something. So earlier when you were seeing, she happened. Earlier when. when The hip replace. That is why she walking so unbalanced. Where is Fluffy? Clearance of Fluffy, Fluffy from Jamaica. Clearance with Fluffy from Jamaica. Me call her Fluffy. She always dip on the live here with, um, I think her also her name is Fluffy. Fluffy Fabulous. Clearance, Clearance with Fluffy. I don't remember, I say your name, or the name that Missy come up on your Facebook name. But me always call you Fluffy too. I don't know, you come up in a Miss Bray. Clearance. Um, 
Miss Stewart, for the last time in the respectable form and in, in, in a respectable way, in my opinion. I'm going to say something to you, Miss Stewart. I cannot give you no information regarding your brother. Your brother energy is mixed up with bad man murder. I do not want to be a part of that atmosphere. I have a life as myself and I have to live it. I already not so much on fire with people who want to kill me because I go, go talk my mouth. People are planning to want to hurt me because I go touch the queen. So they feel like say, they are the KIN, so they want to get touch up. Saying this to say that I don't want to talk about that situation with your missing brother because I don't want cast too much enemy on myself. Read me. May I do it in the best way as I can tell you. So me if you are busy I watch who already the on my name or want to hurt me rather than I don't want to open a can of worm to tell you how your brother go to cast no problem on me. But what I can do tell you that where the bush is concerned and the hole is concerned. That's all I can say to you. Where the bush is concerned, where the, the, the whole pit, the pit is concerned. I don't want to say no more to you because my face, they are all over the place now and I have to deal with my best interest at all time but where the bush is concerned and where the pit hole is concerned that's all i can say to you me have to cover myself as well that's badness i don't want to get involved and if you can respect that respect that and do not ask me again else I'm going to block you. Because you're not going to keep commenting and force me to say anything to put my life in jeopardy as, as it already in because people want. But by the grace of God, I will be victorious. You don't need to book it because I was still not going to get into that. So my greatest advice to you is take what you get from me tonight and understand. Everybody are watch me now. And I like one time you can't say a little thing and it escape. Everybody are watch me now and I scream record. So me have to know what me I do. It's not looking good. Anybody want to come sit down and talk to me and say something and then I don't even know when we come live from. I just did come up here and just did decide to me just want oh lord just say me you want to come healing up. I want to say this to the IT family. Because of what I said, the big mix-up, when I look through my spiritual order, I realize that people out there are planning for me. And when I say people, I'm talking about man. 
We will say them a Dan man or a bad man. So I also want the IT family to know that me we me need on a prayer as well. Cause if I can see, then me go use my seeing to protect myself as well. So also not to keep me now on a prayer as well. Because I na ask if them na for me. They are for me. But I want you to know that RT is not a fool. I want you to know RT know him good work. RT know for the maths. RT is not a fool. But at the same time, it bother me sometimes to know me I do good. And at the same good way me do. And because I taught the good way me do, people want man to page me way because them feel like say me I try to hurt them career. And the fact that them feel like say me want to hurt them career, them not think about what me do for them. Or the goodness what me do for them, them only think about them want to get rid of me because I am a problem. So I'm just saying to you, RT family, prayer not too much for me, but I will be victorious. All right? Me just a shed like a light on that as well. So, no one to know. Because my God, I've done it now sleep. Um, we don't want reading people, but you have to understand me read every single day of my life. I just come 